Amen, Brother Ernest. May you rest in peace. Nova, Charlotte, Ralph Angel. It's the show everyone is talking about, Queen Sugar, Oprah Winfrey's latest venture. It's based on the book of the same name. And author Natalie Bazil is here with me today. Natalie, welcome to Black Renaissance. Thank you so much. It's so good to have you. I was telling you earlier, I'm a huge fan of the show, but the book is its own thing entirely, its own uh, piece of art itself. Uh, and it takes place in South Louisiana. That's right. Talk to me about what about South Louisiana drew you in? Why did you know you had to write a book about that area? Well, my dad was from South Louisiana, and it was a region that I knew nothing about growing up, but fell in love with as a young adult, and was really just drawn by the people and the mix of cultures, um, and just the richness. And you know, as a writer, you're always looking for possibilities narrative possibilities, and Louisiana had a lot to offer. That certainly is an area that is rich with diversity. It is. Uh, and when you're talking about the rural area, I mean, this is essentially a book about going home. It is, and yeah. What made you want to write a book about going home? Is that, That's basically what you were doing that's by right. looking at your father's history. Well, you know, I noticed when I, in the early days of writing Queen Sugar, uh, I noticed that a lot of people were talking about moving from cities, whether it was on the West Coast, major me metropolitan uh, areas on the, West, on the West Coast or the East Coast, they were moving back to the South. And that was curious to me. I couldn't figure out why people would want to uproot and move back to a place that often had a difficult history. Mm -hmm. And so I was intrigued by that notion and started to think about, well, what would it be like for someone who doesn't know the South to have an opportunity uh, to go back there and to go home, to, to, to discover a home that she didn't know that she had. Mm -hmm. So that was really one of the driving factors for me in writing the book. And essentially your book is taking people on that journey back to her homeland as well. Uh, talk to me about what it was like to have Oprah read your book and then tell you that she wanted to turn this into a series with Ava DuVernay, I mean, the director of Selma. Right. Well, you know, that was a great gift. I think there's, you know, there are plenty of authors who think maybe if only, you Would know, kill Oprah for that to exactly, happen to them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And so that was really a, a, a tremendous joy for me to get that phone call mm -hmm. from my agent saying that Oprah wanted to adapt this, the book for something. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a little surprised at first that she wanted to adapt it as a series. I'd always kind of thought, well, if anything happens, it'll be maybe a feature film. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as we talked, I could see why a television series made more sense. There are more narrative possibilities for her, and she had a chance to expand, you know, expand the story and really touch on some really cultural, important cultural issues and themes. We're seeing a bit of the, of the, the series right now. It's beautifully shot and based in that area as well. Are you happy with the way it's come out? It is different from the book. People should know before they pick it up. It's different from the book, but, you know, what I am so gratified by is the heart and the spirit are the same. Mm -hmm. Ava has done in her medium in film and television what I'm trying to do in books, and that is to offer another look at African Americans, to offer a more nuanced portrayal of African Americans and, and the African American experience, and really the experience of a lot of people of color. And so I was fine. I was fine with her taking this well, hey, and doing what she wants to do. There are plenty of people who are more than fine with it. I am crazy about this show, and I can't wait to read the book. It looks like a fantastic read. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Natalie you. Bazil, author of Queen Sugar. Be sure to check out her book and the show. We'll be right back.